Every year in the open seas, we are finding thousands of new types of marine life, which are continuously evolving. Then the existence of some entirely new species in Loch Ness becomes very much a reality in my opinion. Hey guys, Bill here. I think at this point everybody's heard of the Loch Ness Monster, right? That's that unidentified creature that some people call Nessie, and it lives in a lake in Scotland. Ever since a tourist spotted what he called a dragon in 1933, people have been falling all over themselves to prove this monster really exists. But nobody's actually ever provided any definitive proof. Just kind of weird images, smoky, you know, kind of like the UFO stuff. It's like, you know, there's a million pictures out there, but what's real, nobody knows. But now that may have changed thanks to a smartphone and Apple Maps. Members from the official Loch Ness Monster fan club using Apple software came up with this image. It's a satellite image used by Apple Maps. It shows something with what looks like large flippers and a long ghostly tail in the same lake where Nessie supposedly lives. Now some people claim this is nothing more than a low resolution photo of wake coming from a boat. But a member of the Loch Ness Monster Club asked me, if it's a boat wake, where's the boat? It's kind of like that old commercial where the woman said, where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where is the boat? But on the other side of the argument, isn't Apple Maps the same software that tried to direct people to drive their cars off cliffs not too long ago? I mean, how reliable is that information? That could be a Walmart person going for a swim on Miami Beach for all we know. Okay, so now it's your turn. Do you think the Loch Ness Monster is real? Or do you think people are just seeing things on their smartphones? Let me know what your opinion is in the comment section. Every year in the open seas, we are finding thousands of new types of marine life, which are continuously evolving. Then the existence of some entirely new species in Loch Ness becomes very much a reality in my opinion.